Tulsa-based company kicked off the first season of a miniseries. Showcasing the positive impact of the Small Business Administration's loan programs on communities all over the country. SBA advisory firm Baker Lewis premiered the SBA Roadshow. Now we talked to company founder. Really this whole thing is about building community. And um, there's been so much negativity and toxicity in 2020. And so we wanted to do something um, that was positive. I work for a national uh, lending organization, and uh, Dustin's the only uh, recruiter we use because he's in touch with what we need. So I also work for a national lender, and he's always trying to help people. Normally when you have recruiters, they're all about themselves, but with Dustin, he's really about trying to help both people. Yeah, I think he loves what he does, and, so. and he's yeah. just a person who connects people. He's the pollinator. <laughs> he's like the, the revival preacher of small business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Devin Laney, I'm the President and CEO here at 36 Degrees North. We're Tulsa's base camp for entrepreneurs, innovators, and startups. Super excited to be hosting the world premiere of this incredible film series tonight. This is just such a great event. And, you know, a big part of it for us is really being able to showcase, I think, the stories of entrepreneurs and small business owners and the fact that people were able to grow and thrive their businesses even throughout a pandemic, right, with the support of SBA and the funding and the resources. And and I think another piece of it that we're really, really proud of is to be able to really just elevate and showcase the work that Dustin has done. Um, for those of you who don't know, obviously Dustin is a, is a member of Tulsa Remote, which is a great partner of ours at 36 Degrees North, a great community partner, and the folks from Dynamic <laughs> as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> ben Stewart uh, is with the George Kaiser Foundation. He also runs Tulsa Remote. As you heard me mention a little bit about Tulsa Remote. We love to support love the collaboration of remoters. Yeah, absolutely. Going Tulsa Remote, 36 Degrees North, and supporting Dustin and showcasing entrepreneurs and small business is fantastic. The, the future is so incredibly bright, and so I just want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this. Uh, Tulsa Remote is excited about seeing members come together and, and having business ventures formed and having partnerships formed and friendships, most importantly. I thought Dustin did a great job. It's exciting to see him collaborate with the barbers, other Tulsa Remote people. I always love seeing Tulsa Remote people work together on projects. We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yes. I'm with my friends. Yes. And we are testing microphone. And we are trying to make the microphone work. And it takes apparently one, one, two, three, four, five, six to make the microphone work. But we're going to get it done. Baker said his firm was able to help 52 small businesses with their PPP loans from Maryland to San Diego. But I mean, we, we work from people with, with, from Maryland to San Diego. Um, you know, we did a $2,000 loan, we did an $890,000 loan. And, um, and every time we help somebody get one of those loans, there were jobs that were saved. There were families that could pay bills. There were, you, you know, and we were living with that stress too. And so we knew what it meant, right? Um, so we just did it because that was the right thing to do. Hey, congratulations, Dustin, uh, for uh, SP Roadshow and uh, to, the, to the team members of Dynamic. You did an awesome job. Looking forward to watching the first season as, the, uh, as you keep releasing the, uh, the episodes and uh, keep, uh, keep helping America out one business at a time. I built my business on the back of going and getting across the table from somebody. I had this realization it's going to be two years between kind of the big convention for our trade group before I got to get across the table from people. And that was just unacceptable. And so I was like, I'm just going to get in the car and I'm going to go see these people. And then I had the realization that they're in New Jersey and they're in Cincinnati and they're in San Diego and Chicago. And like there, that was a logistical challenge, right? So, um, but then the more I thought about it, I thought, man, our, our little sector is pretty tight knit. People know each other, people like to see each other. And, um, and I just knew that everybody else was having the same frustration. And I thought, well, I can go see these people because I work for myself and I don't have to ask for vacation time. And so I can go do this. And when I do, I can capture it in some way and, and kind of give that as a gift to my industry. I thought it was a great example 
of how you can take a very simple idea born out of uh, necessity and turn it into a, a, a very impactful event for a lot of uh, small business owners like myself. We filmed eight episodes. Well, he went on the road, got back, all the footage, everything that you've seen thus far, websites, all that kind of stuff. We did everything and we started in, what, January? January is when we had the conversation about it. That was the that was a three hour conversation. That was a three hour January. conversation. Yeah, exactly. It's amazing that he went out and did this on his own. He, very impressive job by him, especially all the camera work and the singing. It was amazing because he like Dustin said we're gonna come to your house first and do some tech setup and then we'll head out and I'm like okay that shouldn't you know that shouldn't take long. What do we got like I was literally <laughs> expecting like camera on a tripod. You know I mean. Uh, and then he gets here and just, I felt like the equipment, they just kept going back to the truck. Equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine being in my car all day, you know, driving, having all these cameras in your face all day. That was great. It was good, it was engaging. I know you can't see what I, my lips, but I'm smiling right now because it was so great. I feel like it's something new, it's something different, and I think people will really want to see it. I'm gonna go home and make sure I subscribe to the YouTube channel and catch all the new episodes that are coming out. I hope that uh, this is the beginning of a fun journey that you guys will take with us as we move forward. So thank you again for being here. <laughs>